welcome back! This is actually officially the first video that I am recording on my new computer. And of course we are still in the Pleasant View Museum because this is taking a lot longer than anticipated. And there's going to be a second floor, so we're in it for the long haul. I did some like minor adjustments to the outside. I kind of poke at it here and there. It's not worth doing a whole video on, but you actually get to see me put the trees in this time. And I just, I wanted some trees that weren't so solid because those birch trees are really hard to see through when you're playing. But yeah, we're going to be working on the geology section today, which is mostly just those giant crystals from The Sims 4. But I thought it could be fun. It seems like something that would be able to be found in the Pleasant View area. I know when I was really little, there used to be a place nearby called Crystal Mountain, which People tended to find the really tiny crystals, but some people would find the gigantic ones. So yeah, that, that was kind of my concept there, is there's a mountain nearby with geological features that result in crystals. I don't know, I'm not an expert on that. All I know is I wanted to put the crystals down. Um, I will warn you now, it does look a little different in game, just because You'll see at the end of the video, we crashed, because this is where I discovered that I had a problem with my comfort category. I couldn't open it. It was a random chair that was crashing my game. I don't know, so I got rid of it, but it took me a minute. I do really like how it's turning out, though. I feel like it looks like a museum. The only thing that I'm really lacking would be enough, like, display posters. Because typically you'd go to a museum like this, and then there would be, like, a big display with pictures of crystals and lots of words about them. And there's not really that type of CC. I'm debating trying to make it. I am not an expert when it comes to that kind of thing. I've never actually done like a photo recolor either. I don't think it's very hard, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It makes me nervous. I wanted to keep that big log, but then I found that little snake den and I'm like, wait a minute, I have a CC snake. This would be perfect. Pleasant View probably has some kind of rattlesnake. Which, I don't know if that's a rattlesnake, but, you know, it's a snake. And so yeah, I wanted to build kind of like a little snake diorama. Should it be in the other area? Probably. But we're also working within the confines of an existing building, which I've mentioned before is really common in small towns. You repurpose what's there, and why would you tear out a crap ton of walls when it doesn't really matter. A lot of museums in small towns are very homemade and very janky and it's awesome. <laughs> like I went to a museum, I believe it was called the Foley Medical Museum in Alabama. I might be wrong with the name because I can't remember off the top of my head, but it was amazing. That place was used as a hospital for like three generations and they just had so much stuff. And it was really cool to see. Like. I appreciated getting to see that part of their town's history. Is it like monumental Smithsonian worthy? Probably not, but it's still really cool and it's still part of their town. Like a bunch of people were actually born in that building. So that was kind of the energy that I wanted to bring to this museum as, you know, it's stuff that they find important, but might not necessarily have like major historical implications here. Also, I like the idea that John Burb, as a kid, brought in a lot of things to be taxidermied. I don't know why, it just got stuck in my head and I think it's really funny. Because <laughs> he was on a farm, so like the idea that he, he thought he was helping, so he would find dead snakes and hedgehogs and all kinds of things, and like he's this adorable little boy who is bringing dead animals to whoever runs this place. I appreciate that idea. As you can see here, I'm trying to find some kind of posters that I can fudge a little and make work. I have a ton for sports, but like, in terms of things that look like they could be in the museum and pertain to the museum, it's a little difficult. That one at least looked like it was asking questions or something. So I was trying, but the struggle was real. I was hoping I could find a map to put behind the crystals, but I just didn't like how any of them really looked there. So, spoiler alert, they're gonna go away. This is me trying to decide if I can use these botanical prints. I actually do, and then 
later on, I think off screen, I ended up adding a couple of the animal ones because I didn't want to just use the botanical ones, but in this video, I just used the botanical. I make little changes here and there. Like I'll make a decision and later on I'm like, mm, actually no, which is fine. Like that's okay. Oh God, here begins my journey of trying to find anything that could go behind those. I actually, again, later on, I found posters that I like better. So I did swap out what I chose just because the ones that I ended up choosing just didn't feel right. But I was trying, I was doing my best. If you know where I can find like existing posters that look like they belong in a museum in terms of like, they have crystals and like words and stuff. I don't think it exists, but it doesn't hurt to ask. I honestly think that I'll just take items in the game and take screenshots of them and do that. Cause I want, the butterfly exhibit to be like a temporary one. You know how a lot of museums, they have just like a little exhibit that's there for a little while and then it goes away. I thought that that would be a good thing here just cause they want to keep locals coming in. So the butterfly one changes out. I wanted to have like a storage section on this lot too, but they're just, there isn't really a lot of space. I mean, there is a giant parking lot and as of right now, I haven't like demolished it. I could just put a second lot in that's like the storage area. I don't know. Or we can just use our imaginations and imagine that there is a storage section nearby where things that are not on exhibit or display are located. Yeah, I was, try I was trying my best here. There just really wasn't much to use. I love this picture set, but just, I don't know, it wasn't right. It's so pretty though. I'm pretty sure it's from Sims 3. Might be Sims 4. I don't know. I mixed those up because I really honestly didn't play Sims 3 very much. I played the pets because like that's my jam, but I didn't even buy all of them. And that's odd for me because I, I'm a completionist. I buy everything, but I just, it was so, it ran so poorly. I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. And I still to this day, I'm like, nope, cool concept, but it failed. That said, I'm probably am going to be buying that new Generations type pack for Sims 4 because eh, it meets my special interests and maybe it'll make the Sims 4 Sims a little bit more interesting. I had a Bella Goth save where, because I bought the high school pack and I was playing through just this Bella Goth randomly, like she wasn't attached to any of her family or anything. And I was actually having a lot of fun. She ended up being a lesbian and like super, super type A. So she was like successful at all of the things. And my plans were to have her just like have 10 jobs that she just nailed. But I lost the save file when I swapped over. Actually, correction, I forgot to save the save file. And then I, because my old PC is just slow garbage, I deleted everything off of it. It's mostly going to function as a glorified TV, but also I'm going to be able to, because it's got two screens, I'll be able to keep all of my reference things like up so I don't have to go back and forth between. I'll just have my, you know, spreadsheet open or my flash note, like all of it can be open and I don't have to worry about minimizing or anything. It'll just be there as reference when I need it. I'm very excited about that. As you can see, I've got the crystals kind of set up. I have a lot of stuff just like thrown around here because I'm not sure what I want to do with all of the spaces yet. I do know that I wanted to use an elevator just because I do want it to be accessible by everybody and yeah. Plus elevators don't take up a lot of space, but I went with the glass one too because it just, it fits. That said, that would not work in the real world because I don't know if you know this but they build the elevators first and they build a building around the elevator so we're just gonna pretend that that was there and the H&M chose not to use it I do like working within the confines of like this pre-existing space though like it's, it's interesting mostly just because I've seen it done in real life and I'm like okay well how how should I do this I do build like a little pottery area. This is another one that does get moved later on, but I do keep it. 
probably a, someone who's local. I actually like the idea that this is these are pots thrown by Mary Sue Pleasant because she's mentioned in her little biography thing like that she likes pottery or she did like pottery at one point. So I like the idea that some of her creations are in this little museum. Maybe she donated them. Like who knows? But yeah, I end up putting. Well, you'll see later on. Not in this video. I've actually I. I did a lot of decorating all at once. I'm trying to remember what I did and then what I changed. <laughs> I do paint that platform, don't worry. It is odd though, building a museum, because one thing that you have to be really careful about is that there's lots of open spaces. Because if you think about a real museum, like you need to be able to move around, large groups of people need to be there. Like I had to be sure that I wasn't just jamming it full of stuff the plants here. The bathroom ends up being pretty plain, but I like how it turned out regardless. I, I swapped out a couple things. But yeah, like it's just it's just a simple little bathroom. I did remove the gender signs just because this is supposed to be like a small local area. It's, no. They don't need to have women's bathroom one side, men's on the other, like, you just need to be able to go to the bathroom as you go through. I tried. I'm not qualifying it. <laughs> that is the decision I made and that's all that I'm saying about it. I do remember to put a window in here though because it just seems like a good thing to have because, like, what if there's a fire? But. Yeah, I, it's it's turning out pretty cool. You can kind of see where I've got some plans for some different spaces that aren't solid quite yet. But this back area is going to remain a staff room. And I wanted a sign that kind of looked like it said staff. So yeah, I just put this one on the wall. The idea with the signs is, again, just to make it feel a little bit more realistic. I did take out all of the wallpaper just because it did not fit the aesthetic. Plus, if this place had been run down for a few years, it probably wouldn't be in that great a shape. We're getting pretty close to the end now. Let me know what you guys think of like the geology section. Heck, I'm curious about what small town museums are like in your area, or if you've been to one, if you actually live in a small town area. I no longer do. And yeah, I'm just curious what you guys think, if you think that it's so far meeting expectations of that. I would love to know if you have any ideas or like links to really good CC, always open to that. Other than that, we're going to start working on the staff section next, which is where it unfortunately crashed. I do keep that linoleum in the staff bathroom, just there's nothing wrong with it and it was a little nod to what it was before they decided to save it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, definitely give it a like and I will see you in the next one.